Hi, this is Tony Papajohn from MoneyMindWorks.com. Let me tell you a scene from one of my favorite movies, Shakespeare in Love, and what it means in our world of fortune seeking. Towards the end of the movie, which is the story of how Romeo and Juliet was originally written and produced, there's a scene where Hugh Fenniman, portrayed by Tom Wilkinson, is up in the balcony watching the concluding scene of the, the play where they're in the tomb and uh, you know the whole story, no doubt. So he's watching this and he just gets, he's like fighting back tears. And, and, and he's watching this and he's looking down and, and he portrays this. Who knows how many takes they had to make to get this right, but boy, he just portrays this fighting back tears. You know, like, like it, it, it's just so convincing, at least to me, and I've seen Romeo and Juliet, I can't tell you how many times in my life. I get a little choked up when I watch that. And I've watched the movie how many times and it never fails. I get a little choked up watching this. And like I know the story, I know what's happening. And I still sense that feeling. Portrayed even electronically. And I've seen it how many times I still sense that feeling. And then you know, the story moves on a little bit. The play concludes. And the audience is just stunned they've never seen anything like this and then the guy in the balcony who owns the theater all of a sudden realizes oh we're supposed to clap and then he starts clapping and then the audience starts clapping and people start cheering and yelling and you, know, you can't help but feel good like you're the one that's overcome all the chain of events that have gone on in order that this feel good thing has happened the, the play is done it's a massive smash hit and you just can't, oh my, you feel good about everything, even though I've seen Romeo and Juliet how many times, I've seen the movie I don't know how many times, and you still feel the same emotion. It's really, it's, it, it's something that makes us very human. So, what does this have to do with making money? States of mind are contagious. You can watch something wonderful, and these are actors. And even though you know they're actors and you know this is a movie and you know that it probably didn't happen like this, you just can't help but feel the emotion of the moment. And in a business situation, when we're trying to convince someone of our offering or when we're trying to fire our state of mind up so that we can go out and make our fortune and be as effective as we know we can be, states of mind are contagious. So as you generate a state of enthusiasm and of confidence within yourself, you will naturally transfer that to someone else. And let's face it, we want to do business with people that are confident and enthusiastic and are sure of themselves and know what they're doing. I mean, there's just something about that that uh, is kind of irresistible. And that's the point. States of mind are irresistible. And it doesn't really matter if you're eloquent doesn't matter if you're good looking, doesn't matter it, it doesn't matter if you got all your papers uh, in the right place, although that helps. It doesn't matter if you're completely certain about what you're talking about, although that helps. As you generate a feeling of enthusiasm and of confidence and of poise and of a sense of belief in what you're doing, that comes across even if you don't have all the words, even if you're fumbling around here and there, even if things aren't going, you're, you're, you're not the kind of person, you got everything organized, stuff like that. Well, you know what? That is, that helps. But it's not going to matter as much as the feeling of confidence that you transfer to someone else. And you know why you do this? Because you're a human being. And I'll tell you something else. Whatever your state of mind is, you're going to transfer that. So it might as well be enthusiasm and confidence and poise. And then... You see, you take the know-how that you already know and you turn that state of mind into money. Very important to realize that the state of mind transfers and then you just imbue that whatever you're doing with the knowledge, the experience, with the know-how that you have and then, you know what? It turns into money. So. The next time you, you, you want to watch a movie, if you haven't seen Shakespeare in Love, I highly recommend it. It's a great movie, even if you don't know anything about Shakespeare. It's got a lot of funny parts. 
and uh, really a, a great movie, won seven Oscars as best I remember. And uh, so at the end of it, you know, it's this great feel-good moment, and it demonstrates as clearly as I've ever seen the transference of emotion and that we can turn into money in our world of fortune-seeking. My name is Tony Papajohn from MoneyMindWorks.com. I want to offer you a free seven-part, rather nine-part video series uh, at MoneyMindWorks.com. My blog is YourMoneyMindWorks.com, and I've got free teleseminar listings there. In the meantime, go out, make some money, and wait, how do you do this? Hey, take the know-how that you know and transfer confidence and enthusiasm and poise and creativity and all the good feelings that you have about what you're doing, the belief in yourself, the belief in what you're offering is to other people, and you'll make a lot of money.